Hey, what's up, beautiful people of Instagram? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Started a painting here, I'm working on a commission. Just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. It's a uh, city scene, as you guys can see here. So, I'm hoping that I can bring some value while I am creating this painting. Okay. By the way, those of you who who haven't commissioned something from me, uh, come on, what are you guys waiting for? Always open for commissions. And, you know, to talk about it. If you never commissioned a painting, let me know. Um, I'm all ears. Yeah, I, I do a wonderful job for you guys. So just, you know, just uh, send me a, a DM me, send me a message or something. Let me know. Talk to me a little bit more about commissions. You don't have to, you don't have to commit to anything, right? You don't have to commit to anything. And uh, I'll walk you through it. I'll walk you through what a commission is and how to get it done. Something, you know, something beautiful. You know, something specific, something beautiful that maybe you guys, uh, you know, maybe you've been wanting to get something like this. Well, not specifically this, uh, but a, a painting. I do portrait commissions. I do different commissions. It doesn't matter what. Commission is just a custom painting. That's really all it is, right? And I do different stuff. This is a 24 by 36. And I'm doing this commission for a uh, very valued, valued uh, collector. So yeah. It's really beautiful working with this type of stuff. I, I mean, you guys usually see me do the small stuff, the smaller work. I do that a lot as well. Uh, but usually for commissions, people want something more substantial in size, something larger. For the most part, not always. I mean, you can commission whatever, any size. But I think that it's really neat to have something that you can, a showstopper, right? Something like a, a showpiece. Something that you can brag about. <laughs> we all like bragging, come on. Something you can brag about, be like, be like, hey, I really want to show you what I got here. You know? It's either in your, your office, home. The world's greatest living artist painted this for me. <laughs> Something like that. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much how it's done. And we all do things differently, of course, as I mentioned before. I think that that's the beauty of uh, creating artwork, no? It's the beauty of creating artwork. We all have our je ne sais quoi, our angles. By the way, uh, today was our Art Marketing Tuesday, and I made a, a video at noon, Arizona time. For those of you who, who, uh, those of you who, who follow me on Instagram, those of you who check out my videos, uh, I don't know if it's still on the Instagram um, stories. Uh, by the time you guys see this on YouTube, it's not going to be on Instagram stories, uh, that video, so... I don't know if I uploaded it. I might have. Go check it out on YouTube. It's called it's called uh, pricing your artwork or, or pricing artwork on a any uh, on one of my videos on on Art Marketing Tuesday. It's all about pricing artwork and whatnot. How's it going, D? How's it going, Kim? <laughs> Yeah, I I think so. I think I I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I think I think it's a it should be up by now on on YouTube. This is a commission I'm working for a very valued uh, collector of mine, and I just wanted to show you guys some of the process right here that I'm doing.
You always want to get those commissions, guys, okay? Those commissions are... are uh, many people only want to do one thing. I know I'm going to go into an art marketing thing here as I'm painting this. You don't want to be, you don't want to be doing one thing. You don't want to be singular. I don't think so. I, that's my message. You don't want to be singular. A lot of people are like, I'm fine just painting on... Uh, just being on eBay, or I'm fine just being, just being on Instagram, or I'm fine just, you know, just showing my work locally here and there. Uh, it'll be fine for a little bit. It'll, it actually is going to be fine if you're not willing to grow, right? If you don't want to grow. The thing about growth is that whatever's not growing is dying. And I know that this is, uh, again, it's one of those things that don't tell me that. I'm sorry. I will tell you that. Uh, we need to grow, right? The, 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 your impact in the marketplace, your 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 uh, your name in the marketplace needs to grow. People need to know who you are. People need to care about you 24/7, seven, seven days a week, or else you will become obsolete. Like people are not, are not gonna know anything. If people don't know you, they don't flow you. This is something that I've learned from one of my mentors. People don't know you, they will not flow you, meaning they're not going to flow you uh, opportunity, they're not going to flow anything your way. Right? They have to know you. They have to know you, they have to hear from you. And many of us are afraid to, to, uh, to do that. And I understand, it's, it's, you know, there's, a little, there's a little fear always with that. There's always a little fear with. Telling people what you do when, and, and uh, you know, totally get it. Most people don't want to tell people what they do because they are, uh, they don't want to come off as desperate. And, and so, so they end up not telling people that they are this amazing artist, right? Like I'm sure at least, I don't know, more than one of you are amazing artists watching this. If not all of you, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen everybody's work, but. I assume that if you're into this gig, you have to be uh, creating artwork for a while. And therefore, you know, you have a, you've developed a good uh, sell, set of skills, right? In creating artwork. And if you're not telling people about it constantly, you're doing yourself a disservice. And you're, you're actually telling your customers, your collector base, don't don't believe in me because I don't believe in myself. So please, if you're going to ask me about my artwork, if you're waiting, hoping that you know that I'm going to talk about my artwork, I won't. Uh, I don't really believe in myself, so I won't talk about my artwork. This is how I get commissions, guys. I'm always talking about my artwork. Those of you who've asked me, like, how do you get commissions? Uh, you you constantly talk about your artwork. You constantly talk about your artwork, your process, yourself. And then someone says, tell me a little bit more. Right? And then someone says, uh, I like your work, but I don't think I'm ready for something that size. You know? I like your work, but I don't think I'm ready for something that price. Cool. You show them something smaller. Don't automatically do what a lot of artists do. <laughs> Please. <laughs> don't go for the print. <laughs> don't go for the print. A lot of people automatically try to try to sell the print. Uh, the print is good. You want to be able to sell those if you, if you, if you know how and you can. Uh, but as I mentioned in other videos, the print is usually for an artist who has an audience. It's usually, not always, but for the most part. Artists with audience, with a, with a, with a nice audience, do really well on prints because because everybody wants it and so therefore you can't you know you can't create one for everybody unless unless you do that which I don't think it's bad whatever you know it's it's everyone's gig you know everybody does things differently but but uh going back to that You want to be able to to have something for, for everybody, you know? Something for everybody. 
example, I have this, I have this uh, paintings this size. Some of these go for, uh, as a commission, some of these go around uh, $3,000, some of them a little bit less, just depending on the, on the, the type of work it's going to be there, you know, and the, the size also, because some sizes are a little larger, some sizes are a little smaller, and, you know, there's different factors happening. But for the most part, something like this would run about three, three thousand dollars more or less, and you know this one's gonna be framed, so they ask they ask uh, for frames, so with frame uh, they go about that thirty five hundred, three thousand somewhere around there. But there's different, you know, there's different sizes, there's different things, and you want to be able to offer it. You know, you want to be able to offer it to people and talk about it. You want to be able to talk about it. It's extremely important that you talk about it because if you don't, no one will. Everybody wants an agent. Everybody wants an agent. Since I was a, a young buck artist, we all talked about an agent. Oh my God, we need an agent. Where's the agent at? You know, and then and then I would meet people that would promise everything, right? And they'd be like, they'd be like, all you have to do is give me ten thousand dollars and sign right here, and I'll get you all the gallery exhibits and whatnot. Uh, believe it or not, that kind of stuff did happen to me, and you know, it, it's. I think that I think that people start learning. Uh, when the you you start learning more when 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 crappy stuff like that happens to you you become uh very fast you start learning <laughs> you start no you start learning you start noticing certain things very fast right you start understanding the market very fast this kind of stuff happened to me where people offered to promote me where people offered to 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 help me with with my getting my name out there you know, people offered to to create prints and licensing the work, and and there's a lot of there's a lot of scams that don't look like scams because you're new to the. For example, here's one. Okay, a lot of artists, a lot of galleries do play for play, pay for play, right? They're uh, they're uh, what are they called? I forgot the name of the galleries. There's a name for them. Vanity galleries, I think they're called. Uh, they're not vanity galleries. A lot of people think they're vanity galleries. Like, oh, those galleries specifically. Yeah, one or two are specifically for that, for that purpose. Right? They'll be like, they'll be like, oh, you want an art show? I know you're an artist. You desperately want an art show. <laughs> uh, Kim says, do clients tell you what they want? Yeah. When it's something specific, uh, for the most part, a commission is something specific, so they'll so they'll tell me what they want. For the most part, they they of course they trust, they like and trust what I do, so so they'll tell me like like this is what I want, or or they have a some photographs maybe from a ranch they have or or a place you know they know of something that they like or whatever, and they'll be like this is this is what I I I, I need. But I need it in your voice, in your styling, of course, right? They're trusting, they're trusting you because they already they already know what what you do, right? The type of work you do, so they're already trusting you. So, um, but yeah. And what was I saying about the galleries? Oh yeah, so galleries are like <laughs> galleries. <laughs> so, not all of them, okay, guys. So please don't get the wrong idea. But there are some galleries out there who are slow, right? And I don't know, maybe depending on where they're at, right? Some galleries are slow in a certain time of the year. And they'll be like, oh, this artist is super uh, desperate to show. Be what, what, how do they know artists? Uh, because artists are always trying to contact them, contact them right? And, and they keep a lot of... Um, a lot of material that artists un, un, 
and 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 as for I don't know how you would say it, like the artists send stuff. I used to do this, uh, send stuff out to the galleries, uh, like like a little bio and some photographs and whatnot. When the gallery never asked for it, right? So some galleries are very smart, and when they have a slow season, they'll contact artists and be like. Oh, how's it going, Mr. Blah, blah? We love to have your artwork here, right? <laughs> and then you feel like, oh, man, yeah, I made it to New York. This happened to me, actually, okay? <laughs> and you're like, yeah! <laughs> so, so they're like, we love to have you here in our gallery, so-and-so, and blah, 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 right? And then they're like, they're like, uh, we actually have a wall, a wall, a whole wall reserved for you. And you're like, what? No way. I've been waiting for this my whole life. <laughs> They're like, yeah. So disappointed. Yeah. My wife was in the other room saying, so disappointed. Yeah. Because we did it. We were, we we're so naive. Yeah. Well, you're naive when you don't know, right? So you're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and people are like, these people are like, well, yeah, we actually have a, a, a gallery for you, a, a whole wall. And you're like, yeah. And then they're like, all you have to do is help me pay for the rent. Like, they won't tell you that, right? That's, that's really what they're asking of you. They're like, yeah, just, uh, just pay, uh, this fee. This fee, right? And then, and then, but, but the smarter ones will actually tell you that the fee goes for, to promote the work, right? Oh, we're going to promote the work and this is what the fee is for. And I'm, I'm not saying that one or two don't do it right. But most don't. So I haven't met the ones that do it right. So I can't, I can't put my hands in the fire for the ones that do it right. But most don't. <laughs> so they'll be like, uh, tell us you're killing me. <laughs> so they'll be like, uh, uh, pay, pay the, the fee right here, right? Pay the fee. It's, it's just $2,000 and we'll promote your work. We'll help promote your work. We'll, uh, um, we'll even... Uh, contact, you know, buyers and blah, blah. It's a bunch of BS because they have a, they have a Rolodex of buyers already, you know. If they're, if they're open for business, they already have a Rolodex of buyers. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's totally a bunch of BS, right? The whole, the whole contact, uh, uh, help us, we're going to promote you and whatnot. It's, 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 it's like so not fair. <laughs> But it happens. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, it happened to me. <laughs> so, so there, there we are, right? Artists are like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna do that, and it's like, big break. I, oh, what is that? My big break. My big break. And, but, but you know, they're doing this to a bunch of other artists. So you're not. Don't feel like you're the only, <laughs> the only sucker there. <laughs> So when you get to the show, they have like, I don't know, they have like 10 other poor souls that they, that they, uh, reserve wall space for. Yeah, they reserve wall space for, and, and, and they have no idea either. So they think that, that they're all good, like this awesome artist, right? And, and really they just, they just kind of show whatever. So I'm not, I'm not trying to discredit your art. If you've been contacted by one of these galleries, they, they don't care what you paint. What they care is to is to get by in their slow season. So they'll they'll put anything there, right? As long as as long as it kind of passes, right? They don't care if it's not the style of the gallery. They'll they'll even like if it's not the style of the gallery. Let's say that they they do, they do uh, I don't know Western art or whatever, and then, and then they'll put you there, and you do abstract work or whatever, and they'll be like, oh, our abstract month. <laughs> <laughs> Kim says you're saving me from being a sucker. <laughs> yeah, you have to be aware. You have to be aware. There's there's galleries that are doing it all over the country, all over the world, I'm sure. Uh, and they hate me. They hate me that I talk about this. I know they do. I know, I know. they. I've contacted them and I've told them, you, you guys are a bunch of a-holes. Like, you can't do this to people, right? Because artists... They reach out to us and they're like, oh, we see you selling. We'd love to. Like, yeah, yeah. They, they, they reach out and they, they, they're, they're acting like, like... They're acting like they're interested in you. They act like they're doing you a favor. 
And they act like they're doing it a favor. Exactly. That's what my, my, my wife is saying over there. They act like they're doing, it a fa- uh, doing you a favor. They act like they're interested in you and whatnot. But the, guys, beware. They're not interested in you. Okay? Please know that. I'm not saying I'm not saying you shouldn't look out to 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 participate and work with galleries in that way or whatever, but, but you have to know what you're doing because otherwise you're gonna be a sucker. You know what I am saying is that is that they're not interested in helping you guys. They're interested in helping themselves. Please understand that. Be aware. They're interested in paying the rent for their gallery. They're interested in paying in paying for even for other artists. Like they'll use an, an, an artist. To go bring the another artist that they actually care about for a good month, right? And they'll actually pay for that artist. And and, and it's it's and not, I'm not saying that they're all like that again, okay? So please understand. I'm saying that there are those predatory galleries, and they're not predatory on on collectors. And I know that some people say that some of them are predatory collectors. I'm sure. I I, I don't I don't know about that, and you know. I have no idea about that. What I do know is that I'm sure that some of them are like, like real a holes, you know. But what I do know is that is that they are predatory on predatory on artists because they know poor souls want to be shown, want to be exhibited. And most artists, I'm sorry, I'm going to say this, but we we lack backbone. We think that it's someone else's job to do this for us. Every time I talk to 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 artists that that haven't understood that it comes down to them to work things out and to make things happen for themselves. They think, oh man, if I only had a gallery that would do this for me, that would take care of the sales. Please understand, guys, if you're not taking care of the sales, uh, no one is. Because going into a gallery can also be a wonderful place, where, it, but you have to be aware of how to get them to sell for you. Yeah, you have to understand how to get them. There's my wife it's ranting away too. Beneficial. Not just beneficial to them, but also beneficial to you. It has to be mutual. The benefit has to be mutual. If it's not if it's not a mutual benefit, uh um you you're being taken for a sucker. Okay? A lot of a lot of galleries think that that they know, they don't think they're counting on you being desperate. They're counting on it actually. They're like, "Oh man, Poor guy right here, poor girl. I, I know they're desperate. Like they know you're desperate, right? Not you personally. I'm not I'm not talking to you personally, but as an artist, maybe you've been in that place. I don't know. I know I have been in that place because because we, be, this is the thing, guys. We're looking for for a for a for a magic bullet, right? We're looking for the one person that's going to help us. The one thing that's going to work. We're looking for that one gallery that's going to save us. And or or that that fairy godmother that is going to be like, oh yeah, all you have to do is sign right here and go into your studio and you don't have to worry about anything anymore. We're gonna take care of beware. Beware when someone says something like that to you. Be very be beware. Because the job is will always always come down to you unless you're playing at a different game. And most of us think that that our work is good enough to be played at a different game. It's not the work, guys. Your work could be, you could be as good as Michelangelo for all I know. It is not the work, okay? I'm sorry to say this, guys. It's the market value, as I, as I mentioned in today's uh, earlier earlier um, blog. It, it's, it's your impact in, in the market. It's market value. It will always be market value. That's why Britney Spears' doodles are worth more than mine. I'm not saying they're more, they're more, they're, they have better skill or they're more valuable to, uh, to me or my wife or my collectors. And my collectors would probably, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll probably choose, some of them will probably choose one of, one of Britney Spears' doodles. Maybe I would choose one of Britney Spears' doodles too. <laughs> but it has to do market value. It always comes down to, 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 Kim says, hi, Lizette. <laughs> it, it's always going to come down to market value. If, if, if you don't understand that it's market value, it's going to be very tricky to, to, to get that. And a lot of people try to survive with a handful of collectors. Uh, I think that's great. If you kind of just want to get by, I don't think that cuts it either. 
I think a, a handful of collectors uh, helps you get by for some time. I did that before, but it, it won't to play like the the long term game. You need volumes of people to know who you are. You know, to play the long term game. Like if you were if, if you don't want to be like, oh yeah, I was one of those artists from the eighties <laughs> who was doing really good because the economy was really good in the eighties. Yeah, but what 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 will that do for you now? Like, like you know what I mean? Like, I met some people who were like, man, in the eighties I was selling left and right and blah blah. Well, that's because everybody was, not just you, right? So, so it it wasn't that that you were this great artist, and I don't mean to dismiss anyone by that. But I'm trying to shine some 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 real light here. It was that the market was was very good. So so you know, so it didn't matter whether you were that great or not. There was money in the economy for that to to happen, right? So there's pockets of of good moments in the economy. Or there's good, uh, it's like saying that you were a taxi driver in the 60s and the 70s, you were making a lot of money. You know, it's like, well, that's stupid. What does that have to do with today? You know, <laughs> it's like, what does that have to do with today? It has nothing to do with today. You know, like Uber, come on, bro. Uber, you know, Lyft, boom. Like, I'm sorry that, you know, it's like, it's like my man Gary V says, the guy who bought horses when 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 Henry Ford came out with the Model T, that guy lost, right? The guy who was like, oh man, I'm going to kill it with these horses. Sorry, dude. Model T is here now. You know, and, and, and you don't you don't want to be subject, you know, you don't you don't you don't want to uh, be affected by changes. None of us do, you know, so we want to we want to be able to to be more than just in one place, right? More than the same guy. Uh, Jared, Jared, how's it going, man? Uh, Jared says, what's up? How do you meet collectors? I have a video on meeting collectors on my YouTube, but I'm gonna tell you really quick right here. Uh, people think that they're mythical creatures. People think that a collector is someone that, that I don't know that. You know, you're, you're gonna, they're driving a limo and all of a sudden they, they come down from the limo in a, with a cane and, and, you know, they're like the perfect New Yorker, uh, you know, art collector. Uh, your art collector is anyone, guys. Your art collector is really anyone with a, with a bit of disposable income, okay? They don't have to be rich because a lot of people think that they have to be rich. A bit disposable income and, or maybe they don't have, a, you know, the, uh, they're, they're, they're not... Maybe they don't have uh, a, a lot of, or a bit of disposable income, but they really, really, really love what you're doing, and they'll save up to buy it, you know? Or they'll hold on to other stuff and purchase what you got. I've had that happen to me many times. So an art collector, I, I would really encourage you guys to just start talking to anyone and everyone. Because an art collector really is, it, for all you know, it's your next door neighbor. Like, I know it sounds bizarre, but... Maybe they'll start, like, people are like, oh, man, I don't want people to buy art from me that just want over the couch. Maybe they start that way, you know? I've had people that are like, I just want to cover this wall area, right? And then they move on to, like, man, I really just fell in love with your work, you know? And I shared it with my family, and now it's part of our family. Now I find my work in different auction sites where people are like, this used to be my, 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 my you know, my... Father or whatever, you know, love this artist and and it means a lot to me and, and on and on and on because it becomes part of the family now, right? I haven't been in the market for a long time, but I've been enough to, uh, to, honey, I'm, I'm, I'm making a video, babe. Sorry. So, uh, my, my wife isn't like, sorry, on the speakerphone. So... So you don't know uh, where the art collector is, right? Thank you so much, uh, Sizemore. The art collector is, is everywhere. Right? The art collector is everywhere. The art collector is your, your um, what do you call it? Your small business entrepreneur, you know, in your hometown. Your art collector is the guy or the girl who owns the the yoga shop 
right? The yoga place. Uh, maybe they want you to paint a, a, a some some Zen stuff. Maybe a Buddha. I don't know. I mean, you can't stop. You can't. You can't start from the top, right? Like, not, all, not, not nobody ever starts from the top. It's very rare. I started from the top, and then I've gotten way down. Because sometimes, when I was younger, I, I used to get some really cool commissions. And I was like, man, I made it. I made it. But, but because the market hadn't really recognized me yet, and it still hasn't. I'm, I'm still pushing and, and shoving, right? But the market didn't know who I was. I would get these awesome commissions, you know? Two, three, five thousand dollar commissions when I was a, when I was a, a, just almost looking like a teenager. I think I was a teenager, and then I was like, "Yeah, that's awesome! I made it!" And all of a sudden, like the market was like, "No, dude! Like keep hustling, keep working because you know we still don't know who you are." And that was just a couple of gigs. That's not really that's not the norm, you know. So I, I learned very very soon. I learned that that just because you get a, a nice gig doesn't mean you're you're floating there, right? Doesn't mean that you're already that that you just you sit on your laurels and everything is fine. No, it's just a gig. You know, you have to keep pushing and, and shopping, doing your thing, whatever that is, right? Showing up until the market starts responding, and and and, and when the market starts responding. You continue to push and shop. You don't stop because if you stop, the market will punish you again. I, I man, I, if I could tell you guys, I've seen it over and over. It's happened to me uh, where I'm like, yeah, 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 I, 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 I made it great. You know, I have my art studio. I have commissions left and right. The moment that I take my eye off the ball, all of a sudden it's like it's like I'm an amateur guy who's trying to get into the market, and I have no idea what's happening. Nobody knows me. Even if people know you, they don't remember you, right? Because you're not showing up constantly. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, you know, that's it's it really has a lot to do with that, right? It has it has a lot to do with with uh, understanding that your buyer is not this mythical creature, right? Just like the art agent, many people think that the art agent, where's the art agent, where's the art agent? The art agent, there is no such thing. And if, and if there is, I'm sure there is for, for top-tier galleries and whatnot. Uh, but it's just a salesman. That's all it really is, you know. It's usually a middle, a middle, it's usually a middleman working for a, for a, a, a firm that, you know, just... <laughs> They have all, all they're all they're doing really is is uh, working with with auction houses or or galleries, right? And they're just they're they're acting like the middlemen as as they should, right? Can't hate on a hustle. They're doing whatever they need to do to bring bring food to the table too, right? They they have they have uh, responsibilities as well. Because <laughs> a lot of people get upset. A lot of people are like, man. You know, I have to pay the gallery, and I have to pay the, you know, the, they haven't even experienced that, and they get upset. But like, I have any, I have to pay the gallery, and then I have to pay the art agent, everybody wants a cut. Well, yeah, dude, of course everybody wants a cut. Everybody's playing the game, everybody needs to get a cut. You know, it's just the way it is. So, the photographer wants a cut, the, you know, and the cut looks different for everybody, right? It's not always cash. It's connections. It's it's different. Example: someone does a, a an interview for you, right? Uh, to show uh, I don't know in some magazine or whatever. They're not gonna they're not gonna ask you for a cut. But you doing their interview, taking the time to do that, that is the cut, right? You're you're helping them create content. And then your cut is that you're going to be exposed to a hopefully a, a, a good buyer, you know, base or a good. Even if they're not buyers, a good a good uh, uh, amount of people, right? And so I, I, again, it's it's one of those things, right? I, I had people buy from me who have never bought before art from anybody, and then they're like, "This is my first time buying, and I I can't stop buying. I just love what you do." And it wasn't because you know where did I find where did I find them? It's not necessarily where I where I found them. It's that they found me because I, I overexposed myself, right? 
And I don't, I don't overexpose myself. I overexpose myself in comparison to what people think I should do. A lot of people tell me that, that you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it wrong because I, I'm always doing videos. I'm always doing this. I have over a thousand videos on, on YouTube. And people are like, you shouldn't do that much, you know. People are going to think that you're desperate and whatnot. You know, it's one of those things that people just talk about stuff they don't know. Uh, I'd rather have people talk about me. I don't care what they're talking Hopefully something good. You know, if you're doing something good, like creating artwork, they're not going to say something bad. They're going to be like, oh, okay, that artist, I hate his work. But wow, man, he's everywhere. You know, you you want them saying that, at least. If they're going to say something, you know, you want them saying that, like, I can't stand that guy's work. I hate it. It looks so derivative. It looks, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever your, your swing is. and But they can't stop talking about you, right? Because they see you everywhere. Because, you know, all of a sudden you're like at the Oprah show. Or, <laughs> I don't not the Oprah show anymore. The, the, any show, whatever. You know, all of a sudden you're at the morning news in your local place, right? Or, or you're participating here. You're, it's all about participation, right? You have to play, you have to. It's like, it's like our man, uh, Jeff Kuhn says, right? If you want to play, you have to get, you have to get close where they're playing the game. Sooner or later, they're going to pass you the ball. He's talking about participating, getting, getting in your community, getting, you know, go hang out with the people that are doing stuff in your in your in your neighborhood, in your in your city. Who's doing the shows? Who's doing the a lot of people are jaded about that. They're like, man, I was like that. Man, people here are not blah blah blah. They're not really that's not true. That's just that because we don't do it enough, we think it doesn't work. Right? It's like people who say that Instagram doesn't work. Like Instagram doesn't work, you know, for Putting my name out there. Well, no, it's not going to work if you just show up once a, I, I don't know, once a month. Or if you show up every day just kind of, just to entertain yourself as opposed to to share about yourself. Well, of course it's not going to work. It's never worked for 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 that purpose, right? It's, it's worked for the people that are like obsessed about it, that make it work. You know, it's like when I, I play video games, sometimes I try to play video, I made that mistake to play video games with my son. And right now he's like he's like playing Call of Duty and whatnot, you know, World War II Call of Duty. And I have no idea what the hell he's doing. Like he'll kick my butt right away, or he'll, you know, I have I never have any idea. Haters, haters gonna hate, yeah. <laughs> and I have no idea what he's doing. But he's of course he's gonna be better than me. He's on the damn thing for two, three hours at a time, you know. <laughs> of course he's gonna maybe he shouldn't be that long in there, but sometimes, you know, he's like he's like, I'm gonna play my game and 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 you know, the time that he's doing that, I'll be doing something else. And by the time that I'll go and try to play with him uh, or, you know, or see what he's doing, whatever, like there's, there's no way that, that I could play that game. He's, he's too good at it, you know. He's, he's put in the time. It's not because he was naturally good. A lot of people are like, oh, kids are natural. Kids are so good with games. Hell no, they're not. Give, give, them, give them a game the first time. They don't know what to do with it. You know, they get good because they put in the time. I, a lot of people tend to think that, like, oh, my God, you're such a great artist. Well, thank you, you know, but it's, it's really the time. It's not that I'm, I, I, I wasn't born with a, with a paintbrush, you know. It's really just the time. You put in the time, you get rewarded. It's always, it always will come down to time. You put time, you get rewarded. When were the best times that you... You were doing something great at any at any place, at your job, anywhere. You were putting in the time. You put in the time and you start winning. You know, whatever winning is for you. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to get a six-pack. Obviously not that bad because I haven't, I haven't uh, uh, put in the time, right? But I know if, if I put in the time, it's inevitable, right? I'm not going to get it by just wishing and hoping and, and, and kind of showing up, you know, to... To a gym or, or not even that, you know, just kind of like doing a couple of sit-ups one day and be like, man, this is hard. This 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 is not going to work. That's why people say diets don't work, right? <laughs> That's why people like me say, say, man, th that diet didn't work. <laughs> well, no, of course not. It's never worked for people like me. <laughs> it's only worked for people who are committed. So... You know, it's one of those things, guys. I know I'm like ranting along here. I have so much fun. Look at this painting, man. Peace.
<laughs> I hope my beautiful my, my beautiful face came up. So. <laughs> so yeah, guys, it's really fun. I mean, if you if you ever have the chance to do this kind of thing, please, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You got you gotta go and do the thing. Commissions are very cool because not only you get paid um, very, you know, you get paid really nice. Uh, you get to you get to work on something that you are you have been training your life, you know, for or whatever how many years you've been painting. You get to play with something that you've been training for. Like this, this is not a coincidence. I've been, I've been training for this my whole life, right? I've been training for this. And then you get the commission and you're like, oh yeah. So I usually don't post commissions uh, when I'm working because I'm trying to get them done as opposed to, to you know, do a video where I get to take my time more and talk about things. And, and you know, I'm, I'm usually trying to get them done because Right now, I'm blessed. I have I have quite a few of them uh, lined up. And by the way, if you're an artist, you want to have commissions lined up. Please don't make the mistake of being like, "I'm too busy." That is the worst thing you can do. I'd rather be inundated by them than tell tell that to someone that I'm too busy. I've done that mistake. I made that mistake before. It's it's the worst thing you can do. Don't ever tell people that. Don't ever, ever tell people you're too busy. You're not big enough to be telling people you're too busy. You know? Let Kehendi Wiley, uh, Kehinde, I think it's how you pronounce his name. Let him say he's too busy with a commission because he's working on the president's commission. You know, he's, I think he's going to be doing uh, President Obama's, uh, former President Barack Obama's uh, portrait. And let him say he's too busy for you, right? Uh, not because he's better than you or whatever, no, because he truly is busy, right? Like he's, he's, well, we're all truly busy, but he truly is busy in the sense that, that, that he can reject, right? He can get, he, he's at a place where he can reject. One of my first mentors was saying, look, if you want to, if you want to sit there and reject people and do nothing, you got to be very high up, like the eagle, right? You got to be very high up. And, and I think that that's what, that's really what I'm trying to say here. Kim says, well, it looks it looks great, and I love the colors. Thank you so much. I love it, too. I'm having so much fun with it. I'm like, ta, ta, ta. But yeah, you know, don't ever, don't ever tell people you, you don't have time for a commission. Don't ever tell people. It's, it's the kiss of death for artists. Acting like we're too busy. And, and, you know, I have a pretty good idea why we act like we're too busy. One, because we're not busy enough. So we think that, that by saying that, you, 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 look, you look so cool, right? But you actually, you actually look really bad, right? Uh, people are not going to be like, oh, my God, he or she is too busy for me. No, they're going to be like, they're going to be like, no, come on, please. It's not like you're coming out on TV or, you know, I just, I kind of found you on Facebook or I found you here. I know you're not, especially the people that have, that have a, a, a bit of disposable income. They don't buy the whole I'm too busy thing, right? They, they, they won't buy it. I'm sure they don't. <laughs> you can't say, you know, you can't say the truth. Like, don't. Like, don't, you know, don't tell them stuff like that. Like, say the truth. Like, for example, I have commissions lined up right now. So when people ask me, do you have a commission? Can, can you do a commission? I'll be like, yeah, but it's going to take, you know, it's going to take this days or it's going to take a couple of months or, you know, on and on because I have a couple lined up. That's that's being honest with people, right? But don't ever, don't ever tell them, no, I, I, I don't have time. I'm just, you know, a lot of amateur artists do this. They're like, I, I'm so busy right now. Dude, better take it because a month from today... When, when the little high goes down, you're not going to be busy. Uh, because not, because you, you can't stay busy by rejecting work. Okay? A lot of people think that, that, that that's the way of doing it. 
Like, oh, you start rejecting. They get a little, they get a little, uh, a little, you know, uh, little dollars. <laughs> and then they start acting busy. They start acting like they can reject work. This happened to me right off the, right off the gates. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm rolling, you know, um, I was getting, I was getting a lot of jobs from my interior designers when I was younger, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm so busy, and all of a sudden, thank you so much, D, all of a sudden, when I was not busy, I was like kicking tires, right, I was like, oh man, what's happening, <laughs> I was so upset, right, I was like, what's happening, nothing, Nothing good is, 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 is coming my way. What's going on? Well, dude, you're, you're rejecting work when it shows up. You know? You're rejecting work when it shows up. It's not, it's not good. You know? You're rejecting work when it's, when it's in front of you. You can't reject work. Work is a blessing. You want to always, 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 always say yes. Regardless of how busy you think you are. You're never too busy. If you were too busy, uh, you'd be uh, uh, you'd be Chuck Close. You'd be one of those, you know, you'd be, I don't know, Thomas Kincaid, if that's your cup of tea. You'd be, uh, you'd be one of those big artists. So I think I hammered that one enough. You're never too busy, okay? Just to, just to clarify that again. They're like, you, know, you guys are like, geez, man. Okay, stop it. I got it. <laughs> I'm not going to be busy anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't this cool? Check it out. Man, I'm one hell of an artist. I'm one hell of an artist. I'm the world's greatest living artist. And the crowd goes wild. Ah, the crowd goes wild. But yeah, this is, this is part of my je ne sais quoi. It's a little slower, you know. I'm taking more of my time. I'm, I'm not doing the the ah all the time. Not all the time. Sometimes I, you know, sometimes I'm a bit slower. And it's good. It's good to 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 do things different ways. You don't always want to do things the same way. Uh, you might stop learning. So it's good to do things in different. In different ways, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. It's so good. Muy bueno. I'm so good, and I know it. Yeah, you gotta, you know, another thing. Here's another thing, guys. You gotta believe in your selfie, okay? Because I know I know that some people look at something and they're like, man, that's horrible. I don't like it. Blah blah blah. If you if you're not flowing uh love, right? Uh like for example, I see a lot of artists out there, they look at other people's work that maybe they're not they're not they're starting or they have a different style, and right away they're like, let me give you criticism. Dude, if your stuff is negative, from from you know right off the right off the gate, how I like to say it, you you're probably you you have to check yourself. You're probably feeling like that about your own work, okay? Because and I'm not saying to be disingenuous, but you can find something nice about to say about someone's work, you know, even if you don't like it. And I'm not I'm not saying to be nice. Maybe that's not the right word because I'm not a big believer in being nice. But you can be you can be positive, you know, you can be truthful, you can be you can, positive is the word. You can be positive, right? You can be positive and be like, you know, flow some positivity. Tell someone when they because a lot of people try to try to do the whole would you critique my work? You know, which is a huge mistake. Please guys stop doing that to yourselves. Uh I know that it feels like we need feedback. You don't need feedback. I give you permission. I'm gonna, as a matter of fact, I'm going to start doing some uh, permission slips. And I'm going to give you permission to do whatever the hell you want. Because a lot of us are acting like we need permission. You know, we're like, can you can you look at my artwork and tell me that I'm good enough to sell? Hell yeah, you are. You know, go for it. Now, if you, if you don't know how to paint yet, maybe it's a good thing to learn a little bit of that, you know, first. And then... You know, 
and then go after the, the whole, I'm going to go into the market, which I've talked about it in other videos. Some, some people just want to go into the market and they haven't, uh, they haven't figured out uh, the, that part yet, right? Like, like, it doesn't matter if you're doing abstract or, or, or realism or whatever, uh, it's good to figure out that part first, right? Like, it, it, would, it would probably help to figure out uh, the, the, the whole skill thing, right? Maybe it's not your thing. Maybe you shouldn't figure it out if it's not your thing. All I'm saying is it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to do it. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to do it if you're like, man, I want to paint some Impressionism. It wouldn't hurt to go and visit some museums and, and, and practice a little bit. And, and then, you know, and then be like, all right, then. I think I'm getting ready to get started. It will not hurt. <laughs> Thank you so much. But yeah, you know, keep it that way, guys. Keep it that way. Keep it cool. Keep the, keep the vibes positive. You know, keep it. It's, it's, artists, artists tend to do this, right? I know because I used to do it and, and it, it feels like a hangover at the end because people never tell you what you want to hear. You're actually asking for permission. You just don't realize that, right? Is it okay for me to continue this? Should I even continue this? Am I good enough to continue this? Please tell me yes. Please, please, please say yes. It's, it's a huge, huge disservice you're doing to yourself. Don't ever ask anyone for permission. As a matter of fact, if you're planning on, I'm just going to do it right now. I'll give you permission. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> uh, T4, T4 Tank says, it's crazy how your lines are all so straight and parallel. Thank you. Uh, some people say that they're not. So I appreciate that very much. Uh, some, some, some haters out there are like, man, your lines are not even straight. I'm like, I don't want them straight. So the fact that, that you're saying they're straight, it's a, it's a huge bonus for me. Uh, I have a, a, a severe stigmatism, <laughs> so I don't know if that affects that or if I just kind of see crooked. I see sideways a little bit. I don't know. A lot of my stuff is like that. <laughs> but you know, again, it's it's one of those things. It's like it's cool, right? It's cool. It's 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 cool to do things differently. It's cool to to uh, again with the whole permission thing. It's cool to have permission. Uh, Granted by yourself, yourself, you know, honor thyself, honor thyself before anything else. Get, get that, 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 uh, get those juices rolling, right? Those juices of yourself. I give you permission. I, I, I give you permission now. <laughs> Take all the permission in the world and go, go paint something, go do something, uh, create some, create some bad art, like some really bad art. You know, and if you're good, create some really good art. Doesn't matter. It's all the same. It's all the same. Art is art. We 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 do these things like, oh, that's good, that's bad. That's that's not true. What you wanna what you wanna look into is is uh it's getting getting your name known, right? Getting people to know you. That's really what matters most. And I know that that sounds like people don't like it when I say this kind of stuff and people are like, oh man, let's sell out. No, what you want is get people to know you because some people will like your bad stuff. This is a little secret, guys. Some people will like your bad stuff. While other people will criticize you, some people are going to be like, man, you are Da Vinci. I must have your work. Some people, many people, will actually like your stage wherever you are right now. And, and and people don't know this, right? You you always want to improve, Kim. That's so true. You always want to improve. I am not giving. I'm not. I'm not telling you guys this. So you guys are like, oh, okay, well, F it, you know? No, because then you stop growing. You always want to improve and you want to grow. But when it comes to the marketplace, you're gonna find people that are gonna. No matter how great you paint, you're gonna find lots of people that are like, you're not good enough. You know, I, I used to be a, a, a realist, a portrait painter, and I used to do realism, right? Portraiture. The whole thing. That's how I sustained myself for a while. Just doing portraiture, right? I used to think I was a, I was a John Singer sergeant. And, and I, I, you know, I was good. I wasn't like, like, you know, 
I wasn't Jeremy Lipkin. Let me tell you that, right? <laughs> Jeremy's, Jeremy's a badass. He's, like, he's a really great portrait painter. But I wasn't him. But, but I was good. And people were like, you're not as good as Jeremy. And I'm like, well, of course I can't be as good as Jeremy. Jeremy's, like, excellent. Like, he's really good at it. But I have a group of people that think I'm really good, too. And they're willing to pay me for it. They're willing to, you know, they're willing... To, it's, it's like saying, like, like, you can't have Modigliani and, and, and uh, Renoir or whoever was at the same time exist at the same time and both get paid, Right? It's a lie. Like Modigliani paints very abstract, almost Fauvist expressionism, and 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 Renoir's stuff was impressionism, of course, right? And and his early stuff was very very realistic. It was a very uh, for those of you who know, right, the, the work of Renoir, very uh, soft, right, almost almost uh, uh, dreamlike realism. And and it's a lie to be like. It's not fair to be like, you can't have Picasso and you can't have, you know, Modigliani and you can't have Diego Rivera all existing at the same time and all getting paid, right? I don't know if Modigliani got paid because, you know, we saw that movie. But it wasn't because his artwork wasn't good. It was because the guy, like, <laughs> the guy was drunk. <laughs> you needed to step away from the bottle. But anyways. So it doesn't matter where you are, right? It does not matter where you are. There's always going to be someone who's like, man, I love what you do. I mean, that is really the, the, that's, that's the reality of the marketplace. Some people are going to say, uh, the people that try to stop you are going to say, man, your, your composition is off. Your blow. But those aren't buyers. Please understand that the people, the people, the people saying that to you, they're just, they're just hating, you know? They're like, please, please, please stop. Don't, uh, don't don't uh, come to the surface because now I'm threatened because I myself don't believe I'm good enough. And if you're now coming into the scene, uh, see, they believe in shortages. Now they believe that 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 uh, that there's going to be less for, less for them. You know, the people that believe in shortages. They're like, oh, don't don't come into the into the marketplace because now there's going to be less of us. And then people won't know. What to? <laughs> people won't know what's good and what's bad if 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 people that don't know how to paint are also are also exhibiting next to people that actually do. And then you have groups of people trying to maintain realism. They're like they're like we have to maintain realism because because you know all these Picasso people are making it so bad for us. And it's like, dude, come on, don't be crying, don't be little babies. There's room for everybody. There's room for all of us. <laughs> I was talking about little babies. <laughs> There's room for all of us. Thank you so much, Kim. Kim says you've got a style all your own. Thank you so much. I feel proud of it. Uh, but yeah, you know, there's room for all of us. It doesn't matter what you paint. You could be like, you could be playing, you could be painting like, like pink donkeys, right? And, 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 and then there's gonna be someone who's like, oh my god, I was, I was waiting for you my whole life. The painter of pink donkeys. And donkeys. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Maybe that's someone's thing, right? Like, oh, I like painting pink donkeys. There's a woman who paints teddy bears in England. Oh, the woman who paints. In a realistic way, and I always want one. Teddy bears in England. See, there you go. Like, like there's room for all of us. I mean, our whole edge is creativity. And I don't understand how so many artists are like, man, we can't have more artists because, because you know, now we can't, like, like it all looks the same, dude. That maybe you shouldn't be an artist because, because you're not, you're not getting this thing. This whole thing is creativity, right? Maybe, maybe some people think that a lot of people actually think that I'm, I'm shitty, right? Like my, my artwork is not good enough. And, and they're like, yeah, you get, you get messages. Yeah, I get messages often like, man. You suck. You shouldn't paint anymore. Your artwork sucks. And I'm like, I, I wish I would listen to you, but I really listen to the people who are actually picking out their wallets and paying me for the work. I think those are the ones I like to listen to, <laughs> per se. <laughs> huh? Like, paint me to stop and I won't paint. 
Yeah, pay, pay me to stop. Pay, pay, uh, pay, pay me to, to, to stop painting what people that actually want me to paint, pay me. If that made any sense. And I'll stop for you if you want to. I'll totally stop. 